Let's perform the indicated operation. It is subtraction. We're subtracting two fractions, so we must have the same denominator. As a matter of fact, there are two ways that I see of tackling this example. Um, let's, let's go one route. Let's look at denominators of 21 and 7, and let's decide what the least common denominator is. It is 21, because 7 divides into 21 evenly. So we can write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 21. Of course, the first fraction already has a denominator of 21, so I'll move to the second fraction, and I ask myself, what do I multiply 7 by in order to have a product of 21? I multiply 7 by 3, so I will multiply by 3 over 3, so that I'm multiplying by 1 and not changing the value of the fraction. So I have 6 over 21 minus 1 times 3 is 3, 7 times 3 is 21, and now I'm subtracting, but the denominators are the same, so I have the right to combine numerators. 6 minus 3 is 3 over 21. Now that's not in simplest form because 3 and 21 have a common factor of 3. In other words, 21 I can write as 3 times 7 and then I can divide out that common factor, and I have 1 over 1 times 7, which is 1 7. So that is my difference in simplest form. I mentioned there are two ways. If you'd like, you can handle uh, subtracting the other way. I just happen to notice that 6 and 21 have a common factor of 3 here. So in other words, 6 over 21 can be simplified. Sometimes that can help, sometimes it won't help. I'll let you see if it does in this case but that's another way of handling this subtraction problem. But the difference is one-seventh.